My name is The Adipose and in this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can use your iPad as a graphics tablet for your PC. So let's get learning. Greetings, my name is The Adipose and today we're going to be looking at how you can make your iPad work like a graphics tablet. Now let, let's just get the disadvantages out of the way straight away. Um, your iPad is not going to be as good as a proper graphics tablet. However, it's not a bad replacement, it's not a bad second choice, um, it's definitely not a bad place to get started if you've only got an iPad and you haven't got a graphics tablet. Um, so let me show you how you do it. What you're going to need is a program, an app, um, that allows you to see your PC desktop on your um, mobile um, device. And there's quite a few, and if you look around on the web, um, you'll see various people saying, oh, use this one and use that one, use this one, use that one. But what I haven't seen many people do is say to use the program which I'm going to use today, which is Splashtop 2. And if you look in my, um, it, it's uh, on the left-hand side, just above Angry Birds, I've got my Splashtop 2. Um, quite a lot of people have been saying use Log Me In Hamachi, which is on the right-hand side of my screen about halfway up, and various other people have said to use Air Display. Now both of these have their advantages, and both of these both both of these people have said, you know, this is good about it. This is what's good about it. But um, for both of those programs, people have also said, well, here's a disadvantage, and here's another disadvantage, and here's another disadvantage. Um, that no one seems to have said, oh, no, this is a perfect program. There's various issues with them, and I can talk about those disadvantages in the comments or in a future video if you want. But Splash Top Two, if we go in, really doesn't seem to have those problems. Now, Splashtop 2 is uh, not free, um, but it is often on sale. In fact, it is what at the moment when I'm making this video on the 26th of May. And it actually appeared on Apps Gone Free um, a while ago, um, which is when I got my copy, which was um, probably in about kind of February type time. So um, keep an eye out for a sale, but it's not an expensive app when it is um, reduced. And you'll need to sign up for a, a, a Splashtop account, um, which only takes, a, only takes a few minutes. And you'll also need to put the the server side program onto your PC and once that's running um, you then need to kind of log in with a password which I've already done because obviously I, I didn't really want to show you guys my password and uh, uh, my PC here is called is called Phantom because that's the, that's the name of the box that I've got and then you log in and it kind of says hello I'm connecting and it, it is amazing how smooth um, this is and um, these are all the controls that you can use and there's various kind of drags and taps and all and all that kind of stuff Let, let's get into it um, now you might be kind of thinking oh hang on a minute it's got a bad resolution it's not filling the screen now that's true but I did that by choice um, the program actually by default will change your PC's resolution so it fits the iPad screen perfectly and it looks great um, but the reason why I've deliberately tr does not changed my PC resolution to fit my iPad is because when I'm drawing um, using it I actually want to use my PC at the same time so I literally just um, do all of my kind of mouse work on the PC any color changes on the PC moving of nodes on the PC and I literally just have the iPad here for when I want to do my um, for d to do my sketching so um, I, although you're kind of just looking at my iPad I'm pressing kind of keys and stuff around uh, around the edge so I've pressed F6 which is going to bring up the pen tool now this is probably the magic that you come here to see because now I'm just going to draw on my iPad very very easily far more easily than I would um, with a PC mouse making smooth curves straight lines when I want to make them hard corners when I want to make them and instantly back into curves and all that kind of stuff it is really really easy um, not only is it easy if I just undo that it is also um, almost lag free um, actually no I'm gonna go further than that it is lag free now I suppose that will depend on this on the speed of your of your Wi-Fi because it does work through your 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 local area network and if you've got a slow lo local area network or lots of interference then you're probably gonna have problems but mine isn't especially fast mine is just a normal uh, wireless network and I as I am drawing on the, my iPad screen it is appearing on my iPad screen I'm not actually looking at the PC screen at the moment at the moment at all I am just looking down at the iPad and it is appearing exactly at the moment um, when I put my um, little kind of stylusy penny thing um, on on the screen. Um, so there, there's no lag. It, it's also um, very. There's not. It's not jerky. 
um, it's not pixelated. Um, it, uh, you know, it's not in the resolution of my PC, which is full HD. But the iPad isn't full HD, so I wouldn't expect it to be. Um, but for for the purposes of drawing shapes and getting your images started or um, sketching down some initial ideas, um, it's it's really really good. I mean, it's going to be the kind of thing that you're probably going to go and edit later um, on the PC. But I would do that anyway, even if I had a proper graphics tablet. So um, <laughs> that's not really something um, that has changed. It doesn't just have to be the the simple drawing tool. You can use the kind of a calligraphy shapes here as well as I kind of give you yet another version of the adipose um, and it uh, also works with like the um, if I just undo that, it also works with the, the Beza tool as well, I probably pronounced that wrong someone can correct me in the comments but if I kind of just tap around the screen uh, using the uh, the kind of nodes tool that that will come up and, and I can do it, make it do all the curves and things like that um, it's just really, really easy. I was actually shocked, <laughs> and I'm not often shocked when I kind of, when I had a little go at this a couple of days ago, because um, because I, I, after reading all the people having various problems with different programs and kind of saying yeah it works but and yeah it works but this and to actually have a go with Splash Top Two and just use this with Inkscape, um, and, or indeed any program this would work with Photoshop or Illustrator or anything and just have it work straight out of the box if that's not um uh, if that's if that if that metaphor works with with an with an with an app but it, it, i haven't had to change any settings i haven't had to fiddle i haven't had to adjust my network settings i haven't had to change the pen settings i can just using these two programs together um give myself a pretty good quality graphics tablet now i can't change the thickness of the pen Oh, that I mean that 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 is one of the disadvantages here. Um, if I had a real graphics tablet, by pushing harder or less hard, I would have um, that kind of power. And I don't have that power. If, you know, no matter how hard I push on the iPad, the only thing I'm actually going to do is break my iPad. Um, but I can just because I'm using the PC at the same time um, as I'm drawing. Just kind of well, not maybe as I'm drawing, but between strokes, I can kind of just put a thing like that, and then um, off screen with my mouse, I can adjust it and things like that which isn't completely which isn't ideal you know but um as if you've got an ipad already effectively what you've got here is a, f a free um, graphics tablet either way i hope that was helpful um splash top 2 is on the app store and um the um, software itself is from um, the splash top website which i'll put a link to in the description if you've got any questions um then do stick them in the comment section if you and if you have any problems with the program of course you can um head over to the splash top website where they've got a pretty detailed um uh fac uh fac and support section um if you've got any kind of connection issues but i didn't have any it just worked hope that was useful do like the video if you have enjoyed it and um subscribe to the channel if you want to see um loads more um uh, drawing tutorials and nifty little tips and tricks on your pc take care bye bye